Shantai. According to the reported leaks by UN diplomats, it was this Chinese-registered ship that was seized and searched by South Korean authorities in May. The operation in the port city of Busan reportedly discovered 445 graphite cylinders on board, a very different cargo from the lead piping on the documentation. The accusation that the cylinders could have been used for rocket nozzles or re-entry nose cones in a Syrian missile program. A UN panel on North Korea's arms dealing says there is a history of illicit trading between the two countries that extends long before the current chaos in Syria. The panel's report earlier this year says shipments seized in 2007 and 2010 contained materials suitable for use in artillery munitions and missiles. South Korea is refusing publicly to confirm its seizure of the cylinders, saying the United Nations Security Council must first conclude its processes. But the reports have put further pressure on China, cited in previous leaks of the UN panel's findings as the main hub for North Korea's illegal arms trade. After this latest leak implicating a Chinese-registered ship, Beijing wasted no time in making its public stance clear. China resolutely opposes the proliferation of weapons of mass destruction and their delivery tools. It strictly implements the UN Security Council's relevant resolutions and its own non-proliferation export control laws. We will handle behavior that violates relevant UN Security Council resolutions and China's laws and regulations according to the law. But as well as being a permanent member of a Security Council charged with enforcing punitive sanctions against North Korea, China is also Pyongyang's only ally. It seems China's frustrated partners at the UN are once again trying to suggest that those two roles are contradictory. Harry Fawcett, Al Jazeera, Seoul.